Welcome back for another book review. Today we are talking about a book of pagan family prayers and rituals. I have absolutely no idea how to say the author's name, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> but this is a book I really wasn't sure what I was getting into. Like, the title made me wonder if it was just a collection of prayers and rituals, and that was about it. Because there are some books like that. And I was like, eh, I don't know. But again, working through the massive collection from my library, so inevitably I'm going to find some books that I'm like, I don't know. But I'm glad I did pick this up. Honestly, I'm really hoping to find more from this author, because apparently there's quite a few books from him, and it is so, so good. So obviously, based off the title, this is a pagan parenting book. He covers a lot of different topics for the perspective of parents with your kids. And the activities, he tries to kind of manage both when you have little, little ones and when they're a little more grown up. And it is just a fantastic resource. Honestly, I think even people who don't have kids could potentially really enjoy this book. There were a few of the rituals in here that I really love. It's not exactly just Wicca. I appreciated that he included a variety of different backgrounds. And, like, even as he's doing his rituals, like, he's very based in a lot of, like, the Roman and Greek gods. But, like, he'll mention the Norse. <laughs> and, like, normally they are excluded in a lot of the pagan books. And even when they're mentioned, it's usually, like, very much in passing where it feels like this author actually made the effort to really look into them. And it was really refreshing <laughs> because, again, like, he didn't include the classic of, well, Odin is Santa Claus, as we've discussed, has been debunked quite a bit. Instead, he actually includes that Frey should be related to Yule. And it's like, oh, my God, you read the myths, you know. Because, again, Frey is great for the Yuletide season. And so, like... It's just little things like that I loved in this book. One of the things that I really, really loved about this book that I do plan to buy this was the Wheel of the Year. And while some of the things I'm like, I don't know that I would necessarily do it that way. It's like such a pretty good system that like the temptation's a little real. <laughs> because most of the time, the Wheel of the Year celebrations are very much Wicca, the Wheel of the Year where it's the goddess and the god and they're changing throughout the seasons and it, that whole thing, which to me doesn't exactly make sense. I like to focus just more on the seasonal change as it is. And this book does that very well. And the exercises for it and the rituals are amazing. So like, for instance, I think it was a Samhain. You make like a, like a winter doll. And then at... Beltane, you burn it to get rid of the winter. And like the one in particular that really stood out and I was like, I cannot wait to do this <laughs> was for Ostara. You make 13 eggs and you dye them for like, you do like 12 with like symbols of the sun and like sun colors. So like your reds, orange, yellow, and then you leave one blank. And I love this because he does not have the British thing of like, ah, well, you know, like in bulk spring. <laughs> By the time I starts here, it's like warm. Instead, he lives, I think he said in New England. So like it has apparently a kind of similar weather pattern as here where it's still snow. And so you take that last egg that's white and in ritual, you break it to represent breaking the ice and breaking the frost. And it's like, I love this idea. I felt like I needed it last year to be like, please stop snowing. Because if you don't remember, we had a lot of snow that seemed to never go away. Like, I feel like it was like May. We were still having some snows. And it was like, oh my God, just like stop. So anyways, like I just, I loved that ritual. And for like the summer solstice, there's like an encouragement of like, go play in water. Like you, the parent, go play. Your kids want to play with you too. Like, go hop in the pool, go play in the sprinklers, get out the water guns, like, go play. And, like, just little things like that. I just absolutely loved this book. There were points that I was like, 
I could try that. Like, I never thought about having, like, guardians of the doorway. And that you could either use them as, like, an individual thing. Or to call on, like, a specific deity to, like, protect your doorway. And he had one that was a Greek or Roman. I can't remember which. But one of those two. (laughs) That's for the doorway. But then also you could also work with Thor. And I just absolutely loved it. So obviously, I plan to buy this book. I hope to get more from this author. I love the writing style. I love the way he presented the information. I am very stoked with his kind of take on paganism. I think he does such a good job presenting the information. This is definitely one I plan to buy. If you are going to be parents, I think, and you're going to raise your kid pagan, this is a book you need. Out of the pagan books for parenting that I've read so far, this is the best one. (laughs) Like, Circle Round, Celebrating the Great Mother, they have some good information, but this, it is just, it's so well written. It covers so many topics so well. I highly encourage you to get this. Even if you don't plan to ever have kids, I think it's a pretty good book. You can honor your inner child. And again, the Wheel of the Year and the information, it's just really good. It has information you know, just kind of broadly covering topics. I mean, it's got, you know, blessing the baby, but also like marriages and funerals. There's just a little bit of everything in here. So anyways, I highly recommend this book. I'd love to know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Huge thank you as always to my patrons. If you want to support me and get access to exclusive content, it is patreon.com slash nightwillowcrafts. And if you want to check out my books, I currently have five published If you want to check any of them out, it is always linked on the blog down below. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Blessed be.